Hey guys, Ben here. Today I'd like to showcase my new puzzle, and also my first 3D printed puzzle, the Windmill Square One. Now this puzzle is a Square One modification um, you, that can be looked at two different ways. You can imagine it either as a square, okay pretend this is a square one, with its cuts rotated uh, 30 something degrees, I don't know the exact number, um, to make it so that the cuts go through the edge is of the cube. And so it looks like this. Or, it can also be viewed as a bandage square two. If I were to bandage the square two by connecting these two pieces together, these two pieces together, these two and these two together, you would get this pattern. And also, on the opposite side, if you did the same thing, bandage these two, these two, these two, and these two, you'd get the same pattern. But it's also a little different in that these cuts don't line up this way, as you can see, and it actually acts like a wall cube puzzle. And also you'll notice that the windmills are going both the same direction on both sides. And the reason for that is, well, on a normal windmill cube, like this one, uh, the windmills go in different directions on opposite sides, as, as you can see. And so because of that, there's a lot of mirrored pieces. You can see that the pieces, uh, most of them on opposite layers, um, have mirrored pieces. This puzzle, on the other hand, has no mirrored pieces. All of the pieces are identical. And that's the reason that the windmills go the same direction, because every piece is identical. And because it's offset like this, um, you have to turn this side like this, and this side this way, so that the cut lines up, and then you can slice like this. And this proves that the uh, pieces, there are no mirrored pieces, because when I did that slice, the puzzle still retains its cubic shape. The middle layer is sliced right in half, as you can see, and because of that, it never changes shape either. It stays in its same shape, just the colors get messed up. To mess up the uh, shape of the cube, what you do is you need to turn it so that the, one of these diagonal splits goes down. And then it will change shape due to the pieces being jumbled around um, where two edges go next to each other and so on. And so this puzzle can actually reach pretty interesting shapes in states like these, like this one. Um, but this puzzle really isn't meant for shape shifting because if you do slice like this, it doesn't change shape at all. Now, as far as difficulty of this puzzle goes, it's uh, a little bit harder than a regular square one. It's one of those things where if you can solve a square one, you should be able to solve this puzzle, except, you know, it's difficult to wrap your head around how to solve it. Um, it is a little harder because, you know, these pieces are all identical, so when you slice, it goes like this. But it's difficult to tell what kind of pieces are what. I mean, you know, is this an edge piece or a corner piece? Do you treat it like an edge piece or corner piece? And it's difficult to orient it because, in fact, this position right here that I have is identical to the solve position on a regular square one or square two. This position is exactly identical to this position, the solve position. So it's very difficult to wrap your head around uh, how to use algorithms for this puzzle. And when you're using your algorithms, um, it, you have to basically know them notation by notation. Um, you know, it, because it reaches different shapes when you're doing the turns. And I, I, when I solved this, I actually messed up the parity algorithm three times before I finally solved it. So it is a little bit more difficult, I have to say. But it's really fun. I designed this puzzle in SolidWorks and 3D printed it from Shapeways in white, strong, and flexible material. I dyed it using black RIT dye and stickered it with Oracal vinyl sheet. So anyway, that's about it for the windmill square one. I hope you enjoyed my puzzle, and thanks for watching.